Hi, this is Lisa from Local King Roberts and welcome to my channel. Ready for today's video? Today's video, I am going to share with you how to create this uh, pop-out card with those gorgeous eyeballs. Let's start it. Okay, so in my last view, uh, last video I was mentioning, um, I am going to share with you guys a few different kind of coloring techniques. But today's video, I'm going to just fast forward uh, how I coloring with the Copen marker. And uh, for the next few other video, I'm going to share with you how to coloring with uh, markers, watercolor, or different kind of technique. So because I have uh, some other information I want to share with you, um, of on today's project so i don't want to make it the video too long so the coloring part i'm going to just skip it and uh, if you like to know a little bit more about the coloring with the copen marker just make sure you watch it, the other video the video number 299 i explain a little bit how to coloring with the copen marker so um we're going to use this uh, Mr. London Frog. It is Mr. London Frog, not the Mr. London Frog. If you'd like to know how did I come up with this uh, Mr. London Frog name, you got to check uh, Local Kings Online DVD library and uh, click the video, uh, meet, the, uh, meet, meet Mr. London Frog, and uh, you will find out how did I come up with uh, this name. Is uh, something will make you laugh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that uh, I already, like I, I, I mentioned in my previous video before, I like to pre-stamp few of the stamp image and then have them ready. So anytime I want to do some coloring and then I don't have to wait until the ink dry. So this is the, just uh, um, on the Kinson watercolor cardstock and then I am going to just do a fast forward um, the coloring technique is uh, so that way this video is not going to take uh, too long. Okay, so it probably take me around like a 10 minutes to color these uh, um, stamps image. And then um, you can use uh, any kind of coloring technique to color your stuff. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to create those gorgeous glasses finish uh, um, eyes. Remember I did a video is how to create the 3D eyeball. This is just one of the video and I will put the link below. You can take a look. You can create those uh, very cute eyeball by using this. Okay, so I have a few different color, and then I am going to just apply that because you need to um, probably few hours to dry. Okay, so first you're going to just give it the white color. Okay, just put enough on top. And then don't try to shake it. Okay, so just do enough to white one. And then you can use the poking tool. Kind of like a, make an icing for your cookies. So just using the poking tool to make uh, this white area nice and smoothly. So, but I got to check that video. It's a really fun video to create all different kind of um, glasses eyeball. Okay, and then we're going to just uh, put a little bit yellow, sorry, orange. Okay. Well, usually you shouldn't shake, but I'm kind of just uh, push the, I didn't shake, I just push the, the ink to the, from and then I'm going to just give a, a black dot. I think those uh, glasses uh, eyeball is look much better than those uh, googly eyeball, isn't it? And then here you can put uh, some um, clear one. Let me grab some clear one. Okay, 
for those uh, water thing here so just do that if you want to add a little bit color on his toe you can do that too okay so it needs like a 24 not 24 hour few hours to be completely dry just in case i'm going to put it away because i usually put on my table and then when i'm working on something else and then ruining my stuff so i will put it somewhere else and we're going to working on the back i mean the the basic car okay and then now we are going to working on our foundation car i still cannot close my car yet because the um the ice is that they are still wet so you just make sure don't glue anything you got to make sure that ice is completely um dry before you do anything so we're going to working on the background so this is uh, the car so i try to recycle it maybe it's uh, not good idea i think let's see okay that's okay so this is a five by five um five by five inches uh, square car and uh, like i say i don't really use pattern paper i like to create uh, my background by using our own stamp so i have a uh, mr london frog here and then we are going to just stamp two frog image and then i was mentioning in my last video i got some of those new ink pad but i'm just waiting for my um ink uh, storage be built and i'm going to share with you some great tips so far i actually like this impact and uh, this is a little bit different with uh, the the memento memento is kind of like a felt this is a kind of sponge so but i'm kind of i don't want to give a, a review for that yet because i just started but at this moment i really like it because they have a lot of a color okay so i'm going to just uh, stamp two okay give a nice firm press one and two i hope they are not so fragile because the foam um just worry if the, you know once when we start rubbing um i don't want to damage that beautiful impact right so here's the my two stamp image oh i'm missing a spot here but that's okay and I am going to use the dots background. Okay. This dots background is awesome because uh, when you use a white color with embossing, they actually look like a snowing. But uh, when you oh, I need the, when you um you change the color, they change the looking. Okay, I'm too lazy to grab my larger color block. I'm going to just do that because I only need a little bit. Hoping I don't drop on top. Okay, so I'm going to just stamp a little bit in this corner. And uh, a little bit in this corner. And I make a little bit boo-boo there. So, you know what? This is the best, the, my favorite part actually. When you make some boo boo, you try to fix it, right? See if you can save it. That's the best part of the crafting. You know, don't, if, don't, you know, change your car when you just have um, just made a little mistake and you say, oh, I have to change your car because it's not perfect. This is handcraft stuff. Okay, so that's my basic car and the, don't worry about the that centerpiece because i'm still waiting for the the the, the eyes as dry and then you can stamp in any sentiment you like and then i actually have this step this is a is a from the technique tuesday okay so i want to make a thank you car and i found out I, I i mentioned in my video before i don't really buy other people's stamp because i cannot use it I buy it, but uh, I cannot share with you, right? So, no, actually, I buy some stamp, but most of my um, clear stamp is the, the sentiment one. So, um, 
I think these are things for jumping in to help. That's a good one. So I'm going to use this one to stem that top. You can use any sentiment you have. It doesn't have to be exactly the same one, right? So let's do that. Okay, I'm going to just uh, stamping maybe right here. Okay, and then I still find my find my background is kind of empty. And then if you want to purchase this one, you can find it on their website. But if you don't want to purchase this one, you have a something your own, feel free to do that. But I just found out this one comes with a very cute mosquitoes. And I don't know, I don't, I really don't know what kind of box is that. It's very hairy. A fly did not shape their legs, their body. And I don't know what kind of fly is that. But anyway, I don't like the box. But I think this mosquito is actually very cute. So I want to put some box. And then you say, hey, Lisa, I don't have that set. What I'm going to do? What are you going to do? You are going to use what you have. So I went to digging my draw i actually found the least that have a little bee and the little butterflies here so instead of using um these uh, i don't know it's bees or something i am going to use my own bee or the butterflies okay so I'm going to ink right so this stem is come with a uh, um tree because when I design the stain, if I make this one individual, it's going to be so small and then you are going to lose that die, for, die cut for sure. So I kind of didn't trimming them by purpose, but uh, you can just uh, ink one. And then see here, I'm missing one spot, perfect to fix it. Okay, so after you ink it, take a look and make sure you didn't, um, didn't ink the other area that you don't need it to. And then try to rotate it, make these uh, little beads fly in different direction. Ooh, that was a close one. Get a little bit ink. Okay, so three. Bzz, going this way and that way. There it go. Okay, and then if you want to, you can just uh, use the, the marker, color them. Um, color these beads. Okay, so that's my foundation card. At least, I think it's a very, very cute. And then I have uh, my Mr. London Frog cover, color. Um, it's a red color. Looks kind of mad, but I think it's a standing out. That's okay. And then I have uh, something else to share with you. Because of this car, I am I use a one twenty pounds car stock, and also the three D eyes is kind of pop out. I still don't; they are not completely dry yet, so I don't want to fold it yet. But I find that this car is kind of like a pop out. So I create at least one to hold it. Let's make sure I don't. So I am going to just mount this one first. So I kind of create uh, this one, Oop, too small, let me change it. Okay, I just fixed it, so I kind of create this one to holding this car because this car is kind of pop out. I think that's a really cute, isn't it? So same thing, I just have some strips, okay? And I just use these little cute be just a stamp few, and I use the same dotting background to create the, this one. Okay, and then but I want to talk about this thank you die cut. This one is actually my new design, and uh, it's kind of freebie um, that I prepare for the people who order the all eight brand new combo set. So I think it's really detailed and it's also come with the, the detail one and the, the background die cut, right? So I think that's uh, awesome to use it for any kind of part of, if you don't want to use it any like a sentiment image, I think that one 
is a work work well to go there too. Okay, so the only thing is this one is a very very detailed die cut. Um, it's hard to apply the glue. So you, um, probably need one of these uh, bottles with a very fine tip. And I got this from the Amazon. And uh, it's uh, the things that they using for the icing of the cookies. So, and I just bought a cheap clear glue, sorry, not cheap, inexpensive glue. And then the only thing you have to always put the pin, clean the, the, this tube before you storage them because they usually clogged. Okay. And then I'm going to just uh, put here, look how detailed it is. Okay, pretty good. That's going to be our freebie for our pre-order customers. So stay tuned. I will have a more detail come out soon. Okay, so I am still waiting for my little frog to come be um to make sure completely dry and then for your front part if you find the here is still too empty you can still decorate something you like and that's what it looks oh i didn't i haven't glued yet that's what the inside look like don't glue yet because uh, we ha we have to put it down mr well i don't think so it will be oh we can glue it but i'm going to just wait for that this uh eyes uh, they dry before we move to the next so i will be right back okay i am back so i actually left this uh, this piece uh, overnight and then now my 3d eyeballs are completely dry so now it's safe to put them together so now i'm going to show you how to um glue these the uh, this uh, uh, Mr. London frog and then make uh, like a pop out car. So like I say in um, the last clip, the car is kind of pop out. So because I'm using a very good car, like a very thick car star. So I created this kind of holding um, band to hold this, this one. If you want to decorate a little bit more, feel free to do that. I think this uh, piece is so cute. Okay, so here is what I'm gonna do is, uh, okay. Before we start to um, scrolling, you can see in the back of this uh, die cut have a lot of uh, um, pre-cut. So this little pre-cut is the little extra I, I add for it. So just uh, you can easily to make a pop cut, pop out card, just like that. You don't have to do anything, kind of just like a pop them out. Okay, so we are going to draw a score line that will um, be our folding line. So I just use, uh, if you have a scroll power, that's awesome. It definitely help you. If you don't have it, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's do this way you can see better. Let's grab uh, a pen here. So we are going to just, uh, okay. On this piece, you can see on the, uh, the, the water lily leaf, there is a, uh, dotting line right so that's the texture line i added to make uh, this die cut have um more 3d and uh, remember they all have a uh, embossing feature too so just using this dotting line as your guiding and then we are going to just draw a line like this so avoid the the frog part just uh, um just drawing the line on the water lily pad Okay, so if you have a scroll pile, you're just using the scroll pile, okay, kind of just uh, scrolling the line there. If you don't have a, um, the scrolling machine, that machine, this tool, you just use a pen, kind of drawing the line a few times, but do in the back, so that way it's not going to affect your your frog okay and then now we are going to just use the scissors you can see there is a really pre-cut already right so this car because we want to make at least this, uh, this uh, mr london frog completely pop out 
So I am going to just uh, trimming that little piece, like here. So here too. Um, this one. Let me see. This one. This part. Yep. So we're going to just use the scissors or the craft knife because they really already have a lot of a uh, cutting, uh, uh, pre-cutting already. So you only have at least a little part. You can trim it. It's very easy. And I'm going to just use the knife. Okay, if you want to go cut like an old frog, it probably will be an issue. But we just need to cut that little connection part. Okay, there you go. So now this frog is kind of pop up, just like this. Okay, so now we are going to draw in two lines. Not drawing two, two lines, drawing two lines. Okay, so I'm going to just do it in the back and you can see better. Okay, so oh, this is a too thick, my tool is too thick. So I'm going to just use this uh, stylus. Okay, kind of drawing a two line there. Good. Okay, once when they have a mark, you can draw a little bit from the front too. Is a scrolling line okay and then now you're going to just folding this line like this okay and then the next we are going to need a, a small piece of acetate okay to helping this uh, frog when you open the car they will standing up correctly if you don't have that little supporting your frog is going to like a uh, lean forward okay so i have a, a little piece here and the size of this uh, acetate is uh, around uh, one one and three quarter so you kind of just manually folding them in three pieces it doesn't have to be exactly the same do your best right Okay, and then I'm going to just uh, put the tape in the back. And that's it. So let's just do this. Okay. Okay, just to have a handy. Or you can make it a little bit wider. Just to have at least a leftover. So I think it will work just fine. Okay, so I have uh, my. This shape. Okay. C shape and put on top of that. Okay, so now that folding line, okay, half we are going to put in the center. So we can glue the water lily pad, but don't put any glue on the Mr. London frog. Okay, so I think the Mr. London frog, okay, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, some tape, okay, on the water lily pads only don't put the try to avoid the any tape on the frog only on the water lily and the, the center of the flower okay or you can use the like a wet glue okay just remember don't put the, any tape on the frog okay and then just put that folding line line up that folding line line up that folding line with your paper folding line okay so your frog is not a pop out yet right okay so you kind of just uh, do this okay make sure the water lily part is uh, just kind of make your car like a standing like a 90 degree first okay and then now Watch very carefully. Let me bring it forward. Okay, so now we are going to just uh, kill the Mr. Linden frog. <laughs> no, we're kind of just uh, folding it. Okay, so you're folding it, you just uh, kill the Mr. Linden frog, you open it. So the frog is kind of leaning like this. Right? 
And then now we are going to put my L shape in the back. Oops, already removed the tape. So I'm going to put that L shape there. And then you can use a, um, a pin to kind of push the glue down. So that, not L shape, that C shape. Okay, and then we're going to kill the frog again. Okay, so that's a how the frog is going to stand out. And then when you close it, it's a laying flat, but then when you open it, voila! So I think it is a very, very cute car. Oh, let's see. So, oops, this one I have to put a little bit more tape. Okay, so oops, this one. Yeah, I you yeah, just have to make sure the tape is stronger enough. Okay, just close it and press it. Yeah. So, do you like the blue or you like red? I think this car I make a little bit smaller. It's like a 5.25 by 5.25, and this one is a 5.50 by 5.50. I have a lot of a 5.5 um envelope. So, um. That's what it look like in my, where is my, this part, it's not cute, this one make a little bit bigger, let's do this one, voila, I think that's a really cute, uh, easy to create a 3D pop-up project and I hope you like it and this Mr. London Vlog is actually my favorite set and thank you for you guys to let me uh, let me a comment let me know which set is your favorite set okay so i am ready to move on to the next video and i hope you like it and then just stay tuned for the special promotion code for or 2021 free sorry 2021 fall a brand new um new release combo set for my youtube uh, viewers that you always get some extra discount uh, discount discount coupon code and that code is coming soon i'm working on that and uh, hopefully today is uh, august 17 and um uh, hopefully by until uh, uh not august 17 october 17 hopefully by october 20th uh, 20th i'm able to listing everything and i have exactly the shipping date and uh, we can start our pre-order and as soon as the when the stamps are all um created ready to go and we're just waiting for the data and then remember for or uh, we have a special gift for um for the order that if you order all eight um combos that we are going to have this uh, thank you thank you data as the gift from us okay so let me know what you think about the least car i hope you like it and uh, i am going to working on the next video the next video i'm going to share with you how to coloring the detail stamp with a local king's marker stay tuned this is lisa from local king rubber stamp thank you so much for watching see you next time goodbye